can you tell me, big Magic Johnson, what has he done? Well, he has, he's a business person. He, uh, he's got AIDS. Did he do AIDS. any business? I like, <laughs> did he help anybody in South L.A.? Well, I think he has HIV. He doesn't actually have full-blown AIDS. But, uh, well, what kind of a guy goes to every city and has sex with every girl? Then he catches HIV. HIV and, uh, is that someone we want to respect and, and tell our kids about? I think he should be ashamed of himself. I think he should go into the background. But what does he do for the black people? He doesn't do anything. You call up and say, well, you he's, know, he's, the Jewish people he's, he's opened a, a lot of businesses the in, in people, inner city neighborhoods. The Jewish people have a company, and it's for people who want to borrow money and no interest. They want to give them a fish pole, fishing pole. We want to help people. If they don't have the money, we'll loan it to you. You don't have interest, one day you'll pay us back. Sure. So are, I'm just telling you, he does nothing. It's sir, all talk. Are, so are you saying that African Americans don't contribute to their to African American communities as much as Jewish? There's people no do? African American. No, oh, never mind. Not I, I'm sorry. Not you know, I, I they all want to play golf Nobody with me. Cares. They, everybody wants to be with me. Wow, By the way, Magic Johnson has a foundation that's been around for 20 years that has yeah, raised yes. millions of dollars uh, for HIV AIDS awareness and other things. We'll tell you about a little bit All more. Right. About What's up, y'all? It's your guy, Dawson. Um, as you just heard a little uh, little uh, clip of the Donald Sterling interview with Anderson Cooper, where basically he says that, you know, what has Magic Johnson done for the black community? And that goes without saying. All you have to do is Google Magic Johnson, his businesses and things he's done, not only in Los Angeles, but abroad. He's even done some stuff down here in South Florida, in Miami. Uh, a lot of stuff Donald Sterling said on that interview, just kind of like, it was just, it was crazy. I, I, I don't even, you know, it, it's like nothing this guy says anymore is like, it, 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 it's just like, it seems like he really does. I know his wife came out and said that, you know, she wants to be, you know, for him to sign the Clippers over to her because he has dementia or, or all these other illnesses and stuff. And, you know, certainly we want him to, you know, get healed and everything. I'm not wishing any ill will or anything on him. But it's just that Donald Sterling continues to do these interviews, continues to, uh, you know, say all this stuff. But it's just... I don't even know what the point is anymore. And I think I'm more upset with this PR person. And people were joking, you know, on blogs and stuff saying he needs Olivia Pope. Well, Olivia Pope, that's that's Hollywood. That's fantasy. It's not real. He need, His PR person really needs to be taking the task because you continue to send this man out on interviews and he is ill prepared to do them. He hasn't done any research. And if he does have, you know, an illness that, you know, apparently his wife said keeps him saying stupid stuff like this in the media then why let him do these interviews and the one thing he said about magic johnson why should you know any kid look up to him he has aids there are tons of kids who parents or whose uncles aunts, some loved one has aids and some of these people did not go out and get it some people got married and they were cheated on you know you should know something about cheating on your wife donald sterling with another woman some people got cheated on and they contracted hiv that way and their spouse did not tell them. And, you know, what are they supposed to do? Not continue to live? They're supposed to go in the background like you stated Magic Johnson should do? I just think that, you know, this was not a good interview. It did not show him again in the best light. But we're talking about Donald Sterling. There is no light that's going to make him shine, you know, brighter or anything like that. Um, another thing he said about, you know, Magic Johnson going from city to city, sleeping with, you know, different women. And, you know, should we, should our kids look up to people like that? Most NBA players, football players, what if they just going to city to city to play these games? We've heard the story. We've seen the news reports. I, I just think, you know, and especially for you to bring your mistress to your game, what child should look up to you? You're not the, the role model for, to be a good husband, to have a great marriage. I just think Donald Sterling, take time out to focus on your healing, your own health. Every interview you've done, you know, since the recording has been released has just made you look like a complete ass. And your PR person should be ashamed of, you know, themselves for letting you continue to do this. Uh, until next time, I'm your guy Dawson, and I'm like everybody else who's black, waiting on the Jewish community to do something for me. Really, because no black people do anything for the community. We're all waiting for the Jewish community 
to do something for us. Take time for yourself, people. Love life. Love yourself. And be nice to people. Peace.